Um, you know, for somebody like Hannah, we want her around the team, and it's disappointing for her to miss out. And obviously, Serena, that's on. You know, see see how that that works out. Um, and ideally, you'd have everybody available. But I think I'm. You know, we're lucky that we're such a well prepared team. And despite the frustration, I think it's, it doesn't derail us at all, um, which is obviously a massive. Um, sort of well done to, to the staff and, and everybody around the team for, for making sure it doesn't. We heard from Serena earlier and she was insistent. She's still working hard. She's still planning everything. Yeah. How has it been for you guys? And sort of talk through how much sort of contact, well, not contact, I suppose, but how much you've had to, to do with her. Yeah, no, she, I'll, I'll back her up. She has, uh, <laughs> she has been doing that. Um, yeah, no, we've, she stayed really well connected with us um, and her you know her normal influence I suppose um, is there obviously you lose a little bit when you're not um, getting that sort of face to face contact and the time at the game obviously naturally without a manager there it's it's slightly different but no she's um, she's ever present and yeah her influence on the game has been as usual as possible yeah, this is the first time you play against a team you're ranked below at this tournament how big of a threat and how good are Spain yeah they're a um, a team that we obviously massively respect. Um, the way they play football is is good to watch, and um, they're all a product of that same, um, yeah, that same style, I suppose. All the players are on the same page, so yeah, definitely have uh, have a lot of threats. Um, but I think you know we're we're a team that, despite our ranking, is in is in good shape, in good form, and and hopefully, uh, yeah, our threats uh, are as enough. I suppose, uh, tomorrow night. You talk about your threats, you talk about your form. Obviously, you know, we're all very excited. You said last week that you're trying to cut out the noise around the, around the hype around the England team. Is, <laughs> is it still possible? burning is you? Yeah. <laughs> it's still burning you, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it is. It is. Um, again, credit to the staff around the team and also to the players. Um, we are sort of in our own little bubble and it, it's not crept in at all. Um, naturally we're aware, we're realistic about the circumstances, we know it's a big game but we have a job to do and we're professional footballers, we have a quarter final to play in and um, a great opportunity, that's what we see it as. Thank you. Thanks Anton. Uh, we'll go to Dan at ITV News. Thank you. Uh, Lee, how hot was that training session? this morning <laughs> yeah it's um i don't know what everyone's talking about it's all right isn't it um but no yeah very hot but we've obviously adapted well and trained a little bit earlier to do do as best we can and ha how have you adapted uh yes yeah, so we moved the training a little bit earlier um and you know stopping every so often for for more of a drink and, and stuff like that obviously i'm not i'm not the one qualified to make decisions on how best to deal with it but um it's been good and the, the intensity certainly hasn't dropped which is which has been great I know you're, you're saying that you see this match as an opportunity. Yeah. But but does your mind drift to the fact that this is do or die now and it could come to an end tomorrow or it could be a massive step forward? Yeah, obviously it's knockout football. The the game changes once you get through the groups and um, the nature of the game is different. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, there'll be one winner and, and that's it. So, of course, we know the situation, but again, we choose to look at it as an opportunity and... We're confident we're in good form and, and hopefully, like I say, we can do what we've been doing this tournament tomorrow night. And finally, just do you hope that this is a national event, that people are going down the pub and, and everybody's just properly going to be into this? I hope so. I hope so. I hope we've done enough in the group stages and I think we have to, to interest people and, and get them on our journey with us and I hope they stay with us now. Um, it's a great opportunity. It's hopefully going to be nice weather and I hope everybody enjoys it um, as much as we are, yeah.